Hello everybody, I am Alashe of Alashe Photography, also known as Aquina Lashe, which is my name, by the way. It's not Alashe. Um, but Photographer is a community for female photographers. Um, I decided to make this community because I got tired of individuals basically just excluding us from a lot of stuff. I feel like it's just not inclusive for us and it's a male driven industry. I have a different one every day. I'm gonna say if it's something that you can change, change it and stop complaining about it. Make something happen. Get up and make something happen. Beauty, of course. One thing people don't know about me. Oh, that I have a love for carrots. Plenty of times. Family, friends, and I'm just not a quitter. Kisses. I think when the 17 year old girl reached out to me, I believe last year, and one, when I responded, she was just excited that I responded, which I was like, I'm a normal individual. But just when she let me know how much that I inspired her and how she wanted to link up with me basically to be, for me to be her mentor and for her to be my mentee. So I knew at that point that I was doing it for the right reasons. Um, no, no. One, first of all, you need to know how to pose your models. Two, don't be that photographer that just lets the individual sit up there and be uncomfortable. Be able to just talk to them and engage in them and ask them questions as you're shooting and just have a normal conversation and, yeah. I don't think it's necessary, I don't think it was necessarily a compliment, it was more so a reaction. Um, a lot of the women that I shoot, or individuals that I shoot, are pretty much your everyday people. It's not always models. So I think it's always when you show the person what the images look like after makeup after photography and setting up the lighting and them seeing themselves is more so the reaction so it's not necessarily a compliment it's just seeing people's reactions that's what i love how do i define beauty this is going to be long um beauty to me is more so not how you look it's how you treat people it's how you live your life it's how you feel it's not more so of what you look like i'm tired of the typical standard of what beauty should be beauty is what you feel beauty is what you think beauty is what is what you exude 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 whatever the word is you know what i mean everything that i know now Sheesh. can i say more than one go for it jessica kobesi Danessa Merrix, King Molly Magic, um, Lindsay Adler, Loretta Houston was definitely my first photographer, and me fresh as well. But I don't, I don't know if she still shoots, but those are definitely my first two inspirations. Please handle it before post. Stop being that photographer. I'll handle it in post. Okay, you'll see. Because it's a male-driven industry. We don't get enough recognition, especially as a black female photographer, we do not get enough recognition. So I feel like with me creating this platform, we will get the recognition that we deserve. Just watch. Uh, please don't come for me. Please don't come for me or I'm gonna send my three-year-old son after you. But just over-sexualizing women, we don't need to be over-sexualized to look beautiful. Yes, um, particularly one time when I actually had a client that booked with me that had a child for special needs, and it was just how many photographers that she reached out to that necessarily declined her because of her having a child for special needs. I don't feel like anybody, I don't feel like you should discriminate against anybody. I feel like everybody should have the same equal opportunities to be able to have the same services everybody else has. Drake energy. Lip gloss. Jackie Arna. The artist Her. Um, somebody else. The artist Her, Issa Rae, and um, 
Jackson Ellis. Cut thug life. Family and friends. My white cow cowgirl boots. Oh yes. But, yeah. Have you seen just a body of individuals work? Like I feel like if you're I don't even want to say that because I'm gonna start people. Um if you are a photographer that is necessarily passionate about what you do, you capture a feeling, a moment, um, and a memory. And if you look at somebody's work and you don't feel anything, then that kind of lets you know what kind of photographer they are or just what kind of person they are. But I feel like if you are a person that is truly passionate about the art, you can look at your work and you can feel something. You can feel that mood. You can feel that vibe. You can feel what that person may be going through. Dinosaurs. Um, never give up. The inevitable is real. And anybody that's negative in your life, kick them out your life now. A funny story is in high school, I photography was one of my electives. I had a bomb teacher, bomb classmates, but I hated it. Um, my parents had bought me this really expensive film camera, but I hated photography. So fast forward to 2009, 2010, um, I picked up the camera. Um, I did makeup on the models. We went up to this rooftop in Berkeley and I didn't even know how to use the light. I think it was at like the highest setting, which it was blowing stuff out, but it was this dope sunset. I edited the pictures to the best of my ability dropped them on Facebook and people went crazy over them and ever since then I've just been doing photography.